Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we'll see some more gate problems, previous gate problems on uh, basics of semiconductors. Okay, if you are first time to my channel, please consider subscribing so that you can encourage me to do more videos like this. Right, so in this problem, he has given a pure semiconductor, silicon semiconductor is given and uh, it is going to dope with uh, with an extent of 1 is to 10 to the power of 6 that is doping concentration or doping ratio impurity ratio or doping ratio is given for you okay so he has asked to find you conductivity due to majority carriers and conductivity due to minority carriers okay very simple conductivity concept mixed with mass action law very simple just as the previous so I have done a uh, problem in the previous video as well okay so same problem I mean concept is same okay so first of all what is the donor concentration so donor impurities is added that means it is a n-type semiconductor so after doping the semiconductor is an n-type semiconductor because of adding donor impurities okay this is the first inference which you have to get right so the given semiconductor is uh, so the given extrinsic semiconductor for this problem is n-type semiconductor next impurity ratio so impurity ratio is 1 by 10 to the power of 6 so the majority carrier concentration as I have told you given the formula in the previous class so total number of atoms into impurity ratio okay so majority carrier concentration is total number of atoms into impurity ratio so total number of atoms is 5 into 10 to the power of 22 multiplied by impurity ratio is 1 by 10 to the power of 6 so it will be 5 into 10 to the power of 16 atoms per cubic or okay so it is per cubic centimeter right then if you have uh, the majority carrier so if the majority carrier concentration is this so this is also equal to n okay so it is also equal to number of free electrons so from our section law what is p n i square by n d n i square by n d so what is n i square you have 1.5 into 10 to the power of 10 whole square divided by n d is 5 into 10 to the power of 6 okay so you can keep like that only and you can solve for this so the first question here conductivity due to majority carriers so conductivity due to majority carriers is conductivity of electrons that is sigma n okay conductivity of free electrons so it is given by n d q mu n right so what is n d we have got it as 10, 5 into 10 to the power of 16 into q is charge of electron which is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 into mu n is given as 1300 mobility of electrons so if you solve for this you will get 10 to the power of 4 more per centimeter okay just solve for this using your calci so second question is conductivity of minority carriers that is holes conductivity of holes which is given by p q mu p p q mu p so what is p 1.5 into so this is p 1.5 into 10 to the power of 10 whole square divided by 5 into 10 to the power of 6 into q is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 into mu p is 500 so it is 500 okay so if you solve for this you will get around 3.6 into 10 to the power of minus 13 more per centimeter so if you observe the conductivity is very high when for due to majority carriers so conductivity due to majority carriers is always high when compared to the conductivity of minority carriers okay so that is why if you are asked to find the conductivity in any problem 
so you have to take the conductivity of majority carriers only because it conductivity of minority carriers as we have solved here it is very negligible 10 to the power of minus 13 it is almost negligible almost equal to 0 okay so almost very very negligible so almost negligible value so that is why we does not consider any conductivity due to minority carriers okay so next we'll see one more uh, question which is asked in gate 2010 for electronics branch so it is a common data question okay so the silicon sample with unit cross-sectional area is given below okay and is in thermal equilibrium condition okay, and has given that temperature is 300 kelvin charge of electron mobility of electron and a volt equivalent of temperature okay and has given that the majority carrier concentration nd is 10 to the power of 16 cubic centimeter and this is 1 volt the applied voltage is 1 volt okay so the length of this uh, semiconductor bar is 1 micrometer totally okay so from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 micrometer means the total length is 1 micrometer so this is totally 1 micrometer right so what he has asked in the first question so the magnitude of electric field at x is equal to 0 0.5 micrometer is okay so since you are giving an voltage here 1 volt across 1 micrometer so 1 volt is across 1 micrometer therefore if you want to calculate at 0 0.5 micrometer so the voltage will be half of that okay so let us solve this so electric field is generally given by V by D okay so V by D or in this case we'll call it as X V by X also you can call so V by X okay where X is some distance okay so X is some distance sorry okay so X is some distance V by X so what is uh, V here so V so since uh, v, it is V by X we need the electric field intensity at X is equal to 0 0.5 micrometer so we need V at X is equal to 0 0.5 micrometer divided by X is only 0 0.5 micrometer okay so what is voltage at X is equal to so overall voltage will be 1 volt 1 volt per micrometer so if you want at 0 0.5 it will be 0 0.5 only so 0 0.5 divided because 1 volt total voltage applied across the total semiconductor bar here the potential difference between the two edges of the bar is going to be 1 volt okay so this is positive and this is negative so the total potential applied across this total bar is 1 volt so if you want only for half of the bar then potential is also half okay so 0 0.5 and this will be 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 so it will be 10 to the power of 6 volt per meter volt per meter because uh, x is in micrometers not centimeters so micrometers so it will be volt per meter so if you want to, to convert that into centimeters because the answer given is in centimeters so it will be 10 to the power of 4 volt per centimeter 10 to the power of 4 volt per centimeter or 10 kilo volt per centimeter 10 kilo volt per centimeter so that's that will be the answer so option C is correct okay very simple so electric field intensity is given by voltage by distance so voltage total applied is 1 volt across the total semiconductor bar so for half of the distance the voltage will also become half okay so it is 0 0.5 divided by the distance is half only so 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 so convert that into centimeters volt per centimeters you'll get the answer okay now see the second question so the magnitude of electric drift current density so i have given you I made a separate video on diffusion and drift currents in my uh, channel so you can go there and see the formula for drift current 
okay so i'm writing the drift current directly so i'm sorry here it is not 0, 0.0 it is 0 0.5 micrometer same value 0 0.5 micrometer only because it is common data question so once you find the electric field density it uh, this only once you find this only you can solve the second question so that is why it is a common data question okay right uh, sorry it x is equal to 0 0.5 micrometer only i have written wrongly okay sorry so what we need is j and drift drift current okay electric drift current current density is given by so what is the formula n into q into mu n into e so now at x is equal to 0 0.5 is asking so e at x is equal to 0 0.5 micrometer we have to substitute right so this is the formula for drift current density that's all so once you know the formula you can substitute all the values so n is given by the majority carrier concentration so it is nd so it is 10 to the power of 16 q is charge of electron so 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 into what is mu n mu n is given as 1350 into e we have got it as 10 kilo volt 10 to the power of 10 into 10 to the power of 3 okay so if you substitute you will get 2.16 into 10 to the power of 4 ampere per centimeter square ampere per centimeter square so this is the answer option a is correct okay so this is how the questions will be asked in the basics okay so this is just a basic formula e is equal to v by d and j and drift i have already discussed about diffusion current and drift current very clearly in a video i i am giving you the playlist link in my description so from that you can go to the playlist and see that video you can get a uh, clear explanation about drift and diffusion currents so that you can solve any question of this type. Okay.